we have polynomials, so our function is continuous everywhere. So in this clause interval two, to find absolute maximum and absolute minimum, we need to find value of our function for all critical points and endpoints and take the largest and the smallest of these values. So to find critical points, we need first, first derivative. So let's calculate this. f prime of x is equal, derivative of x to power 4 is 4 times x to power 3 minus derivative of 2x squared is 2 times 2x plus derivative of 1 is 0, so we don't have to write. So this is equal 4x to third minus 4x. When we have derivative, now we have to set our derivative equal to 0. So f prime of x is equal 0 if and only if in our case 4x to third minus 4x is equal to 0. So we have to solve this equation. We can factorize 4x so it will be x to second power in parentheses minus 1 this is equal to 0 when 4x is equal to 0 or x square minus 1 is equal to 0. So x is equal to 0 or x square is equal to 1. So it means x is equal plus minus 1 because 1 to second power is 1 and negative 1 to second power is 1. We got three solutions x equals 0, x equals negative 1, and x equals positive 1. Now we have to check if this value belongs to our interval. We have interval from negative 2 to 3, so all this number belongs. So now we have to find the value for all these critical points. For x equals 0, negative 1 and 1. And at the end we need to find value on endpoints. So we have to calculate value of our function for negative 2 and 3. So first we calculate f of 0. So it means we have to replace x's in our original function by 0. So it will be 0 to power 4 minus 2 times 0 to second power plus 1. This is equal 1. Now we have to find f of negative 1. So this is equal. Now we replace x's by negative 1. So this is equal negative 1 to power 4 minus 2 to and ne times negative 1 to second power plus 1. This is equal. Negative 1 to power 4 is 1 minus 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1. This is equal 0. f of 1 is equal 1 to power 4 minus 2 times 1 to second power plus 1. This is equal 1 minus 2 plus 1. This is equal 0, 2. Now we have to find value of our function for negative 2 and 3. So f of negative 2 is equal. We will replace x's now by negative 2. So it will be negative 2 to power 4 minus 2 times negative 2 to second power plus 1. This is equal. Negative 2 to power 4 is 16 minus 2 times 4 is 8 plus 1. This is equal. 16 minus 8 is 8 plus 1 is 9. Now we have f of 3. 
this is equal, we now replace x's in our function by 3. So it will be 3 to power 4 minus 2 times 3 to second power plus 1. This is equal 3 to power 4 is 81 minus 2 times 9 is 18 plus 1. This is equal 64. Now we have to choose the largest value. We have 1, 0, 0, 9, 64. The largest value is 64. It means for x equals 3, the value of our function is 64. So we have absolute maximum. And now we have to choose the smallest value. We have 9, 0 and 1. 0 is the smallest value. So for x equals negative 1 and x equals 1, we have value 0. So this is my absolute minimum. This is my solution.